What's going on there guys? Good evening. It is the Earth Master here on the live channel here. It is a Saturday night, April 9th, 2022, about 6.38 p.m. California time here around Chico, California. It is the Earth Master here with an update video on the activity going on around the globe. Let's go ahead and check out the latest movement here on the USGS map as we switch over to the view here, just kind of doing something a little bit uh, on the different side this evening, seeing if this will work out. Uh, latest activity here on the USGS map shows some movement out here around Kosovo, of all places. A 4.2 earthquake striking here in this region within the last uh, 30, 40 minutes or so, uh, just north of Albania. This earthquake uh, striking at about 10 kilometers below surface. We did see some further movement uh, earlier this morning south into the Greece area uh, but this region right here picking up a 4.2 earthquake and uh, it's been a while since I've seen any earthquake activity within this region looking at historical earthquake data in the area of Albania and Kosovo it does show some movement there in the white circles uh, somewhat probably hard to uh, decipher here in the region but uh, Looks like it's to the west and uh, mainly, yeah, definitely mainly to the west is where we've seen the most earthquake activity here in Albania area. So within this specific star, within the epicenter, I haven't seen anything in the 4.5 or above range since about 1900. Backing out of here, uh, we'll work our way towards the east because we are seeing a train or a trail of earthquake activity uh, stretching across the region of India and areas to the uh, east picking up on uh, some movement out here India and down through the uh, Myanmar area all seeing some fours and some fives kick off here over the last 24 hours the big push of movement right now appears to be over here around the Papua New Guinea Vanuatu area where we've seen that 6.3 earthquake strike this morning uh, in that region, also around the Papua New Guinea area, we've seen some adjustment with a 5.5. Uh, all this earthquake activity following much deeper movement here around the Fiji Islands area. Uh, speaking of the Fiji Islands area, we've seen uh, some further back movement here from the west, or I, say, I should say from the east headed west around the Tonga Trench. Some further deep movement into this region of the Tonga Trench with a 4.5 at 329 kilometers. Still need to be on guard here, folks. New Zealand northward into the Kermadec Trench for some adjustment. Uh, we have seen some uh, some adjustment up north and now to the northwest. Uh, we haven't seen any further adjustment up here around the, uh, the uh, Kuro Kamachaka Trench, but there, this area here has been a little bit on the concern side uh, with all the deep movement and the further westward pressure up around Papua New Guinea and the Vanuatu area. It's just been all too quiet here in the New Zealand region. Uh, looking up here up north, we of course we did have that 5.7 in the Arat Islands area, the Aleutian Trench. Seen some further movement along with an aftershock of a 4.2 earthquake in that area. The uh, mainland here of Alaska, we'll go ahead and drop down to the all magnitudes. Not a whole lot going on uh, this evening out there. there Absolutely, definitely some earthquake activity, but no major swarms, no major large-scale movement here in Alaska. Uh, down into the states and off the coast here of Oregon, looking at some earthquake activity. A couple fours kicking off here in the area of the Blanco Fracture Zone. Of course, a few months ago, we had some swarming kicking off here in the four and five range. Looks like that may be trying to pop back up here a little bit throughout the Pacific Northwest. In terms of earthquake activity, just one earthquake up here north of Mount St. Helens, uh, 0.5 at uh, rel relatively shallow depths there at 0.8 kilometers. Very, uh, it's definitely a surface quake there at that region. Into Northern California, one earthquake south of Eureka. This one deep, 21 kilometers into the subduction zone of the Cascadia Megathrust area. Uh, aside from that, we're not seeing really nothing going on in Northern California, of course, here around the Cobb Mountain area. We've got Calpine uh, producing some earthquakes out there around the Cobb Mountain area with their hydrothermal operations south of Clear Lake. Uh, the rest of Sacramento Valley looks pretty clear. Some movement around the Bay Area and southward 
Long Valley Super Volcano has kind of mellowed out this evening. Not seeing a whole lot of movement there tonight. And uh, Ridgecrest area, a couple small microquakes there in the one range. And uh, Southern California, about the same. There's some movement along the San Jacinto Fault Zone and just into the Imperial Fault. But uh, no major movement there in Southern California to report tonight. Around the Alamo, Nevada area, some movement in the two range and some smaller microquakes. But uh, West Coast there, just kind of on the mellow side. That's the all magnitudes map here. Not a whole lot going on within the last hour. Looking at the rest of the country, look at that. Nothing. Nothing throughout Texas, Oklahoma, New Madrid zone. That's very odd. Very odd. Even into the Intermountain West regions up here, things are kind of quieted down. Let's go ahead and check out the Yellowstone overview here of uh, Yellowstone National Park. Uh, earlier, uh, prior to that movement, it looks like in the uh, Vanuatu area. We've seen some earthquake activity up here in Yellowstone, Wyoming. Uh, a couple of small microquakes. And they did show up throughout uh, portions of the northwestern part of the park. I don't believe the USGS picked up any of that activity. At least not yet. Sometimes they're pretty quick. Sometimes they're a little on the slow side. And tonight they are on the slow side there. Slow side with uh, not reporting but definitely some earthquake activity here shown up on the recorded seismographs probably uh, well below 2.0 uh, possibly possibly some up around 2.0 but most of them there uh, below that threshold and uh any other activity around the park it looks pretty clear don't see too much going on there um on the eastern side of yellowstone national park Backing out, backing out around the Puerto Rico area. Some movement up around the Puerto Rico Trench once again and the U.S. Virgin Islands area. Although, not a lot. Look at this, folks. You know, most of the time we see a lot of swarming here. I'll take you back here seven days. And you can kind of see what I'm talking about. Any given day, we see oh, about 10 or 20 earthquakes or so within the southwest edge of Puerto Rico uh, on any given day. But look at the last 24 hours of all magnitudes. Nothing. It's gone quiet and it's spread out in earthquake activity here. So got to watch this region pretty closely here. We're seeing quite a few threes and some ones, upper threes uh, around the Puerto Rico Trench. That, that area I still think plays a major part in possibly producing a very large earthquake around the Puerto Rico Trench area. So got to watch that region pretty closely. One earthquake in the Columbia area, it looks like. Uh, looks like a 4.4. Uh, Further down south through the South America region, seen a 4.5 in the Chile area. This one pretty deep into the subduction zone of the Peru Chile trench here. 117 kilometer deep earthquake in that region. Mid Atlantic Ridge, seen some earthquake activity as well with a pair of fives kicking off here. Uh, almost uh, within well, about an hour of each other. Two five-pointers at 10 kilometers there in the fracture zones out there in the Atlantic Ocean. Of course, the rift zones out there. Um, let's see what else we got here. Aside from that, man, just a, uh, like I said, we're watching this trail of movement here pretty closely. It is kind of, uh, kind of pointing towards some further activity up here around the Mediterranean. Uh, just got to watch that closely as well. Uh, for some larger movement, but I think for now the New Zealand area, Kermadec Trench area, is kind of a, a major player in, in uh, some movement here pretty soon. Trimmer map tonight along the Cascadia subduction zone. Wow, look at that. Did we really go back to zero, or are we not reporting this once again, PNSN? It's kind of hard to say, right? Last time they went to zero, they had a glitch on their end, and uh, they claimed that the data was... Uh, Still being recorded, but unfortunately wasn't showing up on the map. <laughs> okay, zero epicenters showing up here on the PNSN trimmer map for the Cascadia subduction zone. Checking out Earthquakes Canada map uh, in the beautiful area northward. Not a whole lot going on up there either. In fact, the earthquake in the purple circle is from, uh, well, yesterday. 1.6 in the Yukon Territory up there. Aside from that, it uh, looks pretty clear across the board of Canada. Solar weather activity uh, throughout the day today. We did see a sea flare early this morning, way early this morning, up around the sea 
uh, looks like mid sea level not seen up here on the map or at least on the uh, chart here but uh, that's that little spike in this area right here this is UTC time of course today right UTC time uh, even though it's still technically today here uh, but uh, flaring activity has remained relatively calm sea flare threat only at about 25 percent chance there's not a whole lot going on on the sun right now folks uh, in fact the sun sunspot activity looks clear it looks absolutely blank you could never tell that we're heading towards a solar maximum and this uh compared to last week last week we had a major you know a whole bunch of uh, activity but right now this weekend look at that absolutely blank in terms of sunspots kind of on the uh crazy side none of these i see in complex complexity uh, could produce anything over a sea flare it looks very minimal at best all right folks we're going to jump off here i hope everyone has a good night make sure you subscribe like follow share these videos we're trying to get to 75,000 subscribers here on the YouTube channel and 10,000 subscribers or followers on the Facebook page if you do have Facebook account and you are not following us on the Facebook page make sure you guys go over and give a like to the earth master it's pretty easy search all you got to do is search up the Earthmaster on Facebook, Twitter, and you'll find us there. But uh, Facebook, we're trying to work towards the 10,000 follower goal. And on YouTube, uh, trying to work towards the 75,000 subscriber goal at that. And uh, we will be giving away some prizes as such when we reach those limits. Not, not a limit, right? Definitely not a limit. More or less like a goal. And uh, that's kind of what we're shooting for, folks. And we can't do it without you. We do need your support. Make sure you guys share the videos. It's pretty important. Facebook, if you got Facebook account and you're on YouTube, come on over to Facebook and follow the Earthmaster here on the Facebook page. We're very easy to find. And now we are live streaming on Facebook as well. Make sure you guys come over, folks. We will chat you guys another time. And uh, we'll definitely... Uh, well, we got another 5.2 coming into the Java Trench. You guys see that on the Earthquake 3D Globe right now? 5.2 Earthquake. Still seeing that very strong westward push with all the deep movement back building. So got to watch this area pretty closely. But I think the further Earthquake activity we see here towards the west only heightens up the movement here along the New Zealand area. Got to watch that pretty closely. All right, guys. Have a good night. Stay safe. We will chat you guys another time. Peace out, everyone. Enjoy the rest of your weekend.